Hi everyone and welcome. So today we're going to be unboxing the Moon Knight Marvel Legend. And yeah, if you like these kind of videos, it's all geeky stuff, you know, action figures, figures in general, please subscribe to this channel where I upload bi-weekly on Thursdays of 2024. So before we begin, I just want to take a moment to thank all you guys who subscribe, comment, like, or even just watchers. You know, I know people don't tend to like commenting, which is completely fine. So just know I do appreciate you. And yeah, I'm really excited to unbox a bit more figures this year and grow my collection with you all. Yeah, we have Moon Knight. This is from the Marvel series Moon Knight uh, on Disney+. Plus. So I do feel like there was kind of a divide on where people did like the show, they didn't like the show. Uh, personally, I liked it. I found it enjoyable. I think that Oscar Isaac, in my opinion, gave a really great performance and I felt like he was playing a character he had never played um, on screen. You know, I've never seen him do a character like Steven before, but we are unboxing uh, Mark today and I do have Steven for the next video, so that's exciting. But yeah, let's get to it and open this item. But first we look at the box. So here is the back of it. It says, clad in a ceremonial armor of Khonshu's chosen warriors throughout the centuries, Mark Spector is Moon Knight, sworn to obey Khonshu and deliver his vengeance accordingly. So yeah, Moon Knight's one of really my favorite costumes. I think I say that about so many costumes in the MCU, but he really is probably my top three. Um, I just think his outfit looks so sick and I love his cape and all. So yeah, also I want to thank the person, again, who commented what this Build-A-Figure is because I had no idea, I didn't really get it. But yeah, these figures come with pieces where you can continuously build a set so they make you keep buying each piece, but I'm not doing that. I'm just collecting because I like the show, I like the, you know, uh, superhero, villain, whoever it may be. So okay, here's the front of it. We have Mark Spector, aka Moon Knight. We've got his moon pieces, which look really, really sick. And here's the side of it. Again, these are kind of like, I'm not going to lie, they, uh, in my opinion, they kind of like AI generated images of the character, but uh, you guys let me know if they are drawn on or not. So yeah, very nice looking box. Now I do open these because I like to photograph these figures and I hope 2024 is going well for you all. I really do. Uh, this year there's a lot going on and I'm hoping to keep growing both my channels, you know, and I couldn't do that without you guys, so just know I do appreciate it. Okay, so here we have Moon Knight. Let's pop them down there. And then we have the Moon Pieces. And we have some hand pieces here. I will say packaging not the best uh, for this figure. I feel like it was more for inbox collectors, which I get, but yeah. And real quick, this is the back of the box. So it has the moon emblem, very, very cool. And also kind of looks like a cloudy night. You know, if you can kind of see that, um, it's a bit maybe hard to tell on camera, but yeah, that's pretty cool. I always like the background of the Marvel Legends boxes, but I don't really like do anything with the boxes because they kind of just display on their own, right? All right, so let's zoom in to Mark Spector, Moon Knight. Okay guys, so here is Moon Knight. Let me move some of the pieces back here. I'll try to hold him in focus as best as I can and steady, of course, for the camera, but we'll give him a little rotating angle here. So you can see the side of his face, the front, it looks awesome. I love the entire outfit. I love his mask, his hood. I always like the design. And then there's the side of him. Again, he looks really sick. And here is the Moon Knight emblem on his chest. That's gonna pick up right here. So we have a bit of a silver and gold mashup there. And then he also has a chest piece right here with the little gold, um, I don't know what you would call that, but like lines, I guess. I don't know how else to describe that, but this chest piece is really, really designed so well, in my opinion. And the rest of his outfit is just really, really cool. So we have his belt. We got the circular moon belt. I, I think it's a belt. It looks like it. It's just more of like a wrapping than it is a proper belt, right? Then we have a cover and we also have on his pants here some Egyptian runes, I believe. If I'm wrong, you can correct me. But yeah, he has his runes down there. Really, really cool. And then here are his feet. <laughs> he does have holes in the bottom of his feet. Some of them do, some of them don't, which I find a bit odd, but... And my favorite part of this entire figure is the cape. So let's turn him around. I love the design on the cape. It looks like it's literally swaying. 
And I kind of prefer when things are made like this, so you don't have to like adjust them. They're just like this, you know, they come like this and you don't have to fix them in any which way. I find it really cool when it, they make a figure kind of look like it's moving, you know, and then you can pose them in different ways and all that good stuff. So let's move his arms around a bit. I don't know if they're gauntlets on him, but I guess we'll just call them that for now. I love the design on these as well. Kind of like a checkered slash, I don't know what kind of pattern to really call that, but I think it just looks sick. <laughs> I can't lie to you guys. I just, I really think it looks so cool. His whole outfit is kind of like mummified because, you know, it's, uh, he's Egyptian, right? So that's really, really cool. All right. So let's get some of the pieces up. Here is Moon Knight holding the moon. This moon is really, really cool. I think that it adds a lot of dynamic to the figure. Oh, I see. Okay. So what you, so, okay. So I totally didn't realize this, but you have to click the moon in and now it's actually kind of like a 3D moon. So they came separate like this. I don't know if it'll break up now that I pushed it together. Let me see. So they came like this and then there's two parts here and I'm like, oh, they must go together. Really great paint. I think the gold looks awesome. I think the whole figure looks incredible. I really do. I feel like guys, I have no complaints about this figure. I feel like there's no flaw or anything in like the production of him, which is really bizarre because I feel like most of the pieces I had something to say, but nothing really about Moon Knight. I just think he looks great. So let's zoom in on him and yeah, we'll give him the final review. All right, guys. So here is Moon Knight and his pieces to the side here. And I let him hold the moon. I'll actually take this out for now. But I think overall, he's like a 10 out of 10 figure. I feel like the other figures I've unboxed have been missing something, missing a few pieces, or it just doesn't feel complete. Whereas Moon Knight, I love it all. I love his cape. I love this simple moon he gets to hold. And I don't have any complaints. I think he looks sick. So let me know your thoughts down below. Uh, again, thank you guys so much for subscribing, liking, commenting. I really do appreciate it. And I'm trying to grow both of my channels this year, my ASMR and this one. So yeah, you can follow me on IG for my figure photography. I like taking photos of these. And I think that like taking photos of him will be a lot of fun because he just has a lot of dynamic like range to him and look you know that you can mess with so yeah I don't know when I'll take those but hopefully soon <laughs> so yeah that's about it I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in my next one bye now